Hey guys, this is John. Welcome back to the channel. What we're going to do today is assemble a really cool frame. It's awesome. I'm so excited. This is a brand new, brand new, brand new, um, not necessarily brand new, but new old stock, never ridden in 1977 Bianchi Specialissima. I just like saying it. And it is no old stock. Get this thing up close. Here we go. Very beautiful, never been built. Very clean, except for my thumbnail. Yeah, I'm gonna clean that up a little. It is so rare that you find these things unridden because this was a top end frame. Didn't have all the chrome and all the stuff. These bikes were raced. These bikes were ridden hard. And you see a little scratch there is because I actually had to bolt in earlier. I was hanging some parts on it. Just beautiful paint, it's original paint. It does have the chrome dropouts. On one spot. Look at that guys. One spot. I need some Celeste Green touch-up paint. The decals are gorgeous, check it out. Now there's a decal with a couple numbers, but other than that, I can't find a serial number. Unless that's it. Any ideas, guys? Leave them in the comments section below. I think before we get started, I want to polish this thing. I'm going to put the seat post in and clamp it up on the seat post and give it a little polish. That's looking good. Check this out, guys. I've never seen this before. This is kind of cool. You have to put a nut on to uh, secure a bottle cage. That's kind of cool. Now, as we build this thing, I'm going to show you some parts. The neat thing is some of these things are new old stock. Some are not. I'm probably going to switch out some parts as I get them. Let's get started with this thing. Perfect. Woo, smooth. You know, the biggest disappointment I have in this build is actually the crank set. It's shown somewhere. Uh, not that I usually care, but it's a new old stock frame. This will be replaced sooner or later. Get some grease on there. Both sides. Don't need a lot. Just make it wet. Make sure there's some grease on the threads here. Just a very light amount, maybe some oil. All right, looking good. Next, I'm gonna toss some wheels on here. Now, some of you guys are gonna cry with my wheel choice. And I don't mean to make you upset. I'm putting clinchers on there. I can't help myself. Not a big fan of sew-ups. Uh, you know, bad experiences from my childhood. Anyways, we have a new old stock set of Capagnolo Nova Record uh, hubs uh, with the real honest to skewers. And some new old stock rims, of course. It's a full wheel set. That I got already pre-built. Check that out. Mavic MA40s, fresh out of the box, no wear and tear. And for tires, just wanted something that looked period correct. We got the Donnelly Stratas, pretty cool tires. Let's get these on. We have a Regina Extra Freewheel, uh, almost new old stock. It's a little dirty, but I think it has like 100 miles on it if I'm lucky. Let's put these on. Now for derailleur, it's pretty standard. We're going to use a Nova Record rear derailleur and a Nova Record front derailleur. Now these are not period correct. I'm going to flash on the screen the correct derailleur for the rear. That is the Patton 77 Super Record derailleur. It's got the black uh, uh, accents on it. And uh, well, let's go with what we got. 
Now, I was going to purchase one of the correct derailleurs. They wanted stupid money for those. I guess they're available in one year, maybe two. You guys can tell me in the comment section below. Yep, we're going with these. I love newer frames. They just screw in nice and easy. That looks about right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the barn stem. This came to me as a kit. This is a one-piece deal. Um, in other words, I didn't have to put it together, thank God, because wrapping this stuff is a bear. <laughs> All right. But the person did, whoever wrapped it, did a great job. And uh, as you can see, you have the Triple T uh, Bianchi Pantograph stem, the Triple T Matching Bar, the Campanola Super Record Levers with the new gum hoods. Now, I'm not going to give it a really... Uh, I'm not going to really tighten it down too much here because I'm probably going to end up moving it. There we go. Next, on the shift levers, I'm going to put these on. The, a little bit of grease there on the uh, threads. Here we go. Now check out these brake calibers. I picked these up, new old stock from Beverly Bike and Ski down in Chicago. Beautiful shape. It's actually hard to find them that they're when they're nutted like this, they're a little bit older. And Epipo, oh, still has this little uh, little thingy here on the threads. But as you can see, brand new, never used. They're going on. place to break shoes in the right place. This is so nostalgic putting these parts on. I ran a shop for several years back in the 80s. I put a lot of bikes together from scratch, but only maybe two or three dozen, you know, Campagnolo equipped bikes. And whenever I did, it was such a treat. The stuff went together so well, and I just was impressed by it. Some would say that other brand componentry actually worked better. There's Shimano and Suntour, and they actually might be right, but it didn't matter. This stuff looked cool. So the chain we're gonna use is a Regina chain. It looks suspiciously like a Cetisport. A nice narrow chain, very flush rivets uh, in silver. New old stock, of course. The trick is not pushing that pin in too far. If it does, you can always come back on the other side. Let's see how we did here. Oh, just like a hair more. Okay, for the top two cable guides, we have the original new old stock Campagnolo clamps. Put one in the center. And then uh, one towards the front, one towards the back. Now that came out pretty. Looks great. I got some pedals that are pretty decent shape. Not new old stock by any means, but very smooth. Put a little grease on here. And thread them in.
Looks like we're getting there. Just a few odds and ends. Oh, I don't care who you are. That's gorgeous right there. That is a complete 1977 Bianchi Specialissima, just like saying it. Gorgeous shape. Check it out. It's finished. I'm excited. I've had it for over a year. I know it's new old stock, guys, but guess what? I'm going to ride it. down below it's my first build video not not from the ground up but want to get your take on it and we have a couple more coming i do appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next video mm -hmm.